Hi everybody, Carl here, back for uh, uh, number six in this series. Um, as if you remember, we left off with the last one. Uh, we had uh, um, scaled the, the two meter antenna up to 10 meters and uh, left with some, you know, just okay numbers. So we're going to run the optimizer on it and uh, just see what happens. Right now, if you remember right, this antenna is at uh, 20 feet off the uh, ground. I, if I, were, I believe that's about somewhere around 20 feet off the ground to the base of the antenna. Um, I'm going to run the far field pattern on it here and look, take a look at that. So right now it's 75 degrees. Um, we've got uh, 2.17 decibels. We're going to move it down to, oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's go down to 85 degrees. I think that's where that two meter antenna was, was at, I believe. So it's, it's not looking real good down at a real low, low angle. Um, radiation angle there so let's let's kick the optimizer on and uh, we're gonna pick our uh, height off the ground our AGL there and our radial length and uh, let's see let's uh, we'll start out we'll just leave these the same so they're weighted equally actually let's let's back this SWR down to, to 75 here and um, just see what happens here with our gain as as this antenna goes up um, a little higher off the ground and it's it'll adjust the uh, the length of those those radials also um, let's set this angle at, at 85 is what we're shooting for a real nice low angle of radiation now keep in mind also your location you know what you set this for um, is going to be where this antenna is going to get installed. If you're down in a big hole, big valley somewhere, you might not want that low of a radiation angle. If you're up on top of the hill, you want, but you're going to want it there or, or lower if you're planning on using an antenna for uh, uh, any DX. But anyway, let's start the optimizer, and uh, hopefully it won't won't be too slow in uh, in operating here. Let's see what what it can uh, gain us by raising itself up off the ground and. And adjusting the radial lengths um, so if you'll see over here in this box um, we started off at remember this is in inches 234 inches so roughly 20 feet um, and it's it's adding to that as it goes and you can watch the pattern over here on the right uh, change as it uh, gets that antenna up higher off the ground um, quite a difference it's made already um, so you know, if you, if you need to back the video up to see where we started at, I wasn't paying attention where it was, where it started. Um, but uh, back it up and, and take another look, and you'll see how much difference it has made on this pattern um, just by getting this antenna up higher off the ground. Um, let's see, I'll have to, my brain's not operating quick enough to, to do this math in my head, so I'll get the calculator out. We're up at uh, uh, 1388, we'll just, we'll just call it 1400 inches. Uh, divided by 12 um, we're we're up at 116 feet well there's no way I'm going to put an antenna that high so um, and uh, I don't think too many of us probably will uh, some are uh, <laughs> some are blessed but uh, with that ability with the room and the towers to do something like that so let's stop it here and um, oops give it a second to work I'm gonna switch this back to, to 75 degrees and uh, we'll start it again and see what uh, what it does for us it might lower it back down uh, I'm not sure I'm guessing it probably will bring it back down some do 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 yeah I know um, tick tock tick tock right you can also watch the pattern down here in this in this 3d view um, I was gonna turn it a little bit but it won't turn so um you can you can see the whole pattern what's going on there and keep in mind this is omnidirectional so if you were looking down at the top this would uh this would be your typical donut hole when you can see the deep null it's uh directly over the antenna um, so it's it's got us back down to to 1175 um, inches there let's uh, it's still a lot higher than i'd be able to put it um, so maybe we uh, maybe we'll change that height above ground. Um, let's just uh, let's put it at, at 40 feet. Let me let me do 180 
80 inches was what we're gonna, we're gonna go for okay optimized and uh, it's got it at uh, way higher than I can go oh geez I forgot what I said I think it was 480 inches um, 40 feet yeah 480 let's go for 480 so let's let's drop out of this and let's just go over to our editor for a minute go to our symbols let's set this at 480 and we'll uh, we'll run the frequency sweep on it there that puts us 40 feet off the ground with it and uh, there's about 80 degrees 4.4 uh, decibels of gain um, we'll kick this optimizer back up I've got to close the editor it won't let you run the editor at the same time um, yeah I'll just go ahead and save that okay 480 let's adjust that height and the radio length uh, we're weighted about the same um, I think that was at uh, I think that was at 80 degrees so let's let's do that and let's uh, see what it does just see where it takes it from that uh, 40 feet off the ground to get uh, a little more out of it it'll probably just just keep going back up it's adjust it's adjusting if you can see it here it's adjusting the radial length some um, and the height but the height very minimal here at the moment um, it could take off from there but I just you know I wanted to show you uh, here we go uh, optimized and uh, do do so it kept it just about the same height it changed the radial length a little bit um, it's showing a uh, very low SWR and we could run a frequency sweep on it again and see what uh, um, what the impedance and the, the reactants and stuff is but uh, right now it's a low SWR it's got uh, at 80 degrees it's got a, a reasonable couple dec couple decibels over a dipole um, uh, above ground and uh, you know you can make it or break it and uh, change it however you want but I just thought uh, I'd throw this at you guys real quick thanks for watching KE0 JWK if uh, if it was helpful and you liked it let me know if you got suggestions for uh, other things you'd like to see let me know um, and uh, if you haven't subscribed please do